have to go get this defensive line all the time, but how far has Ben Kapinski come? He's come a long way. He's always been a guy on my radar. I've known it. I mean, his success now, it doesn't surprise me. He always comes in. He just puts his head down and work. And I'm happy it's paying off for him. He's getting the recognition he deserves. Why was he on your radar? Because I would always, when I was younger, I'd be going against him when he was on scout team. And okay. my second year when I had to step up and play, he would always give me trouble. And I was very fortunate enough to go against him because I feel like he really helped me improve my game. Douglas come in at the same time, did you? Go year He's year a year older than me. Yeah, okay. a year older than me. But you know what it's what it's like being a uh, being a walk on and, and going through that grind. Yeah, that also I that also I really appreciate about appreciate that about him too. That yeah. me and him were both walk ons and we came in, nothing was really given to us. We kinda had to earn respect and kinda just take it for ourselves and uh, that really sits good with me. How how rare is it to see a guy that tries out? I mean you you didn't try out. I mean, you were <laughs> recruited as a walk-on, right? Yeah. So, I mean, he wasn't. Yeah. I was a preferred, so I yeah. came to a I came to a camp here in the summer, and that's how they got my name was when Henson was still here. Yeah. So then that's how I kind of got my foot in the door. Yeah. But seeing guys kind of just try out and make the team and then just continue to work hard, I mean, it's great for them to finally get the success and recognition they deserve. We heard going into last week, some of the crazy stuff, or just just the variety of stuff that Tech was going to do up front. What, what was it like actually being in the game? Uh, I mean, they were doing the stuff we were talking about. I mean, they love to mix up their pressures and like to bring guys off the edge, and they were crossing linebackers and doing twists, and that was like a really big kind of like bullet point for us when we were getting ready for them, so we were working it in practice. I mean, we, it was about the same what we we're going to see in practice and we've gone against other teams that have done similar stuff so we weren't too freaked out about it and then I feel like we were able to just play good and remember what we do in practice and talk about in our meetings and be able to come out the win. TCU are they uh, are they similar I know they've got they've got some some solid guys up front but I don't know much about their style. Uh, they're not going to be like Tech where they're not going to pressure a whole lot. They love their, they're going to stay in the same formation mostly with like that 3-3-5 shell. It's the defensive coordinator from Tulsa, so I've played against him for two years now. So once I heard that, I was like, okay, I, I'm, most of our guys are familiar with it. So, I mean, and it'll be a, a good challenge for us. How much, how much does that help when you, when you kind of have some background knowledge compared to maybe if you were just going into this with a coordinator that, uh, you didn't know much of? That helps a lot whenever we get background for our defensive coordinator. I mean, our uh, coaches do a, a great job with our scattering reports, and they put it together for us. And then we as players go in and watch film and kind of pick up some stuff they didn't see perhaps because I feel like they mostly look at a defense as a whole and us as players kind of get the players' tendencies and kind of see what their favorite moves are and then like what's going to happen. Where have you guys improved as a unit through the first five games? I feel like we've kind of we've improved in all areas. I feel like mostly we've always been our main goal was we wanted to run the ball this year, and I feel like we've got we've improved every single week, and then we're looking forward to the this challenge against TCU and see if we can improve more. Gundy, that's something he's kind of stressed with us is that you need to run the ball better. What goes into that? What does that look like from from a practice standpoint? Practice. I mean, we got to come in. We got to get our good uh, aiming points. Mike call. We got to have a good physical day. We just got to come in ready to work, knowing that you're going to run the ball, knowing that the defense knows you're going to run the ball, and you still got to be able to get five, six, four yards, and just be able to just chip away, because then that opens up the whole offense. Top 15 matchup this week. How how how, guess, how important would it be to kind of come out the gate and be able to run the ball and just kind of. It's fully them in the in the trenches, if you will. That'd be very important. That would be uh, good for us because it would be able to we'd be able to assert our dominance over them and then open up the run game, which opens up the passing game, and then easy for uh, Coach Dunn to call plays when the run's working because then we kind of got the defense on their toes. Yeah, defense on their toes. Do you feel like kind of those matchups within the matchups can really sway a, a, a game like this on the road in hostile territory with the rankings, just kind of all of that encompassed? Yeah, I mean, I know it's a ranking, it's a high ranked game and it's on the road, but I mean, we're just trying to stay composed and just do our job. I mean, we've been in big games before, we've been on road games before, so that doesn't really phase me exactly. I've played there before. I live 45 minutes from the stadium back home, so I mean, I'm familiar with the area, so it feels like I'm going back home, but we'll be ready for it.